169, same means we got shots fired at 415 AS. Good evening, I'm Kevin McMahill. I'm the undersheriff of Clark County in the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. I'm going to provide you the final briefing for today. And as promised in our last briefing, we now have the LVMPD.com site up and running. It's a page listing resources available to our victims or family representatives of victims involved in the Route 91 Harvest Festival shooting. Information on the site includes instructions on how to report information if you were a witness, important phone numbers on how to provide photo and video evidence as soon as we have information on how to retrieve lost property. Uh, as the sheriff told you previously, we'll uh, post that on the page as well. After this incident, uh, one of the most striking visuals in addition to the absolute carnage was the sheer amount of personal items left behind as people fled from the terror. One of the biggest items left were vehicles of the concert goers. So for those people that are waiting to get that property returned to them, I have an update. There's a dirt lot on the corner of Giles Street, G-I-L-E-S, between Alibaba and Mandalay Road. There's approximately 150 vehicles over there that citizens have not yet been able to recover. Those cars can now be picked up by the registered owner by meeting officers at the corner of Reno and Koval. We'll have officers permanently assigned there, posted at the corner, to escort you to your vehicle. So again, we ask the owners of those vehicles that have patiently waited to get them back to meet our officers at the corner of Reno and Koval, bring your identification so we can match you back to your vehicle. Uh, the sheriff in the previous press conference was asked a number of questions by you. And I understand in the uh, insatiable appetite of the media that you want some answers. Um, I'm going to try to answer a couple of those questions that you asked. But I'm also going to just make it very clear to you that I need some patience from you. Uh, this uh, investigation is a long time from being concluded. Um, we recently went, went down to Mandalay Bay. I can tell you that we're days away from uh, completion of the processing of that room. Uh, we're getting very close to the completion of the processing of the site. We have a significant amount of time left there as well. However, the southbound portion of Las Vegas Boulevard is now completely open. Uh, we are also working diligently as we speak. I believe we just opened up two of the northbound lanes. Um, and the completion of the northbound lanes uh, should occur sometime this evening. So bearing in mind that the investigation is dynamic, ongoing, continuing, and I don't have a lot of answers for you yet, uh, and clearly understanding that nobody wants answers uh, to why more than the police and the victims' families. But we have a responsibility to get it right, and so that's why it's going to take time, and that's why we're going to take that time. However, there's some, I guess, at best, interesting reporting about how long the, the shooting lasted and how long it took us to get into the room. First question is how long did the actual shooting last? I'm prepared to give you some information on that. And the first call came into our dispatch center at 10.08 p.m. about shots being fired. The suspect, I can tell you that we know now that he fired off and on for somewhere between 9 and 11 minutes. We know that the suspect fired over a dozen or so volleys, and we know that the firing by the suspect ceased at 1019. So I want you to think about that. The minute, the first minute the police are aware of shots being fired at 10 o'clock, 1008, and it stops at 1019. That's a remarkable response by this police department. Also, another question that came up, how long was it before our SWAT team entered the suspect's room? Somebody said you heard that it was 72 minutes, and if why so long? As I just mentioned to you, um, and as the sheriff mentioned previously in the briefing, uh, we had patrol officers actually working another event at the Mandalay Bay um, who heard the shooting and they took it upon themselves to form up into a team, enter the stair stairwell, begin ascending the floors, and also evacuating hotel guests. The SWAT team had to arrive first at the Mandalay Bay before they could take any action. As I mentioned earlier, there was a very heroic security guard uh, who was shot during the search for that suspect. That security guard went up to the room, 
He was advancing towards the room when the suspect fired through the door at the security guard and struck him. He was able to provide additional information to the police on exactly which room that we were looking at. However, at that time, it's important to note that the shooting had stopped. We're considering it a barricade at that point because it's no longer an active shooter. We're not hearing any further shots. The floors had already been evacuated of the guests. The suspect was now isolated and contained within a room. At the point that the SWAT team made their decision based on when it was appropriate to enter. I want to make it clear again to you that while there was that slight delay, the suspect was no longer firing into the crowd. There was a question about the validity of the crime scene photos that somebody had leaked. I can confirm those are um, in fact photos from inside of the room. They're in fact photos of our suspect and as the sheriff mentioned previously, we have all opened up an internal investigation to determine the source of the leaks of those photos to the public. You asked what we found in the sheriff's or in the suspect's room and the sheriff spoke a little bit about cameras being located. To clarify, there were two cameras located in the hallway so that the suspect could watch as law enforcement or security approached his room. And there was another camera placed inside the hotel room door peephole so that he could see down the hallway. As this investigation continues on, we continue to hear stories of heroics by police officers, first responders, and average citizens alike. I commend all of their actions as they sh showed immense courage in the face of extreme danger. I want to mention that one of those brave people was the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Officer Charleston Hartfield. Officer Hartfield was at the Route 91 concert that night along with his wife when shots rang out. Even though Officer Hartfield was at the concert as a civilian, he immediately took action to save lives. In that moment, he was acting as a police officer. He ultimately gave his life protecting others. Officer Hartfield was an 11 year member of the LVMPD and leaves behind a wife and two children. We're very grateful for his sacrifice. There will be a vigil to remember Officer Hartfield this Thursday, October 5th at the Police Memorial Park at 6 p.m. As you all know, that park is located at 3250 Metro Academy Way, and it's being hosted by our Police Protective Association. As this community has become accustomed uh, when we do provide information in regards to our critical incidents, we release body-worn camera footage to you. There's a significant amount of body-worn camera footage that we're going through. However, I'm going to play a clip on our new very large monitor for you of a compilation of a number of those body-worn cameras. You'll see that the officers were de dealing with some uncooperative citizens at times, but at all times they were trying to locate the source of the gunfire as well as evacuate those citizens that were in the line of fire. I think the video will speak for itself, so if you'd like to, I'll try to narrate just a little bit for you as we go through. That wall faces Mandalay Bay and they're hunkered down behind that wall after initial volley of shots. Stay down. Where's it at? Oh, get out of here. 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 Get
north of the Manly base, coming out of a window. They get behind cover! A couple of officers hunkered down next to a patrol vehicle on Las Vegas Boulevard. When all three of our officers get shot. Go, 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 go. That way, that way, that way, that way. 